Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, you already know by the title what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna be testing out some new makeup and also some makeup I have not seen or used in my collection in I don't know how long, but I'm so excited for today's video. This is one of my favorite videos to film. We have some new products. We have the e.l.f. Halo Glow. We have some new Made by Mitchell blushes. We also have the new Makeup by Mario Pink Glow Shade. Nomad Cosmetics, some stuff from Ofra, Rare Beauty. I'm really excited. We have a lot of good stuff in today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we have so much new makeup to play with. I am excited i'm so excited i cannot wait to dive into it my eyelids are already primed i am going in with more of like pastel kind of colors today we're going very vibrant i want to do something really really cute i kind of have an idea of what i want to do but i don't know exactly what i want to do but we are going to start off with the eyes so you all know the first thing that i have to try are these new blushes from made by mitchell y'all made by mitchell is one of my favorite brands i am obsessed with that brand i know for a fact i'm gonna buy everything that they come out with because it is just so good so they just came out with this new like summer blush collection. I don't know the name exactly, but we now have colored blushes. One thing I love about these is that they're very versatile. So you can use them on the eyes, on the lips, on the cheeks, the body, the face, literally anywhere that you want to use this. So I am excited for these because I'm going to use them as like eye bases. I love this formula. It's a cream to powder formula. I love it. It sets down. It stays. It lasts a really long time. In addition to those on the eyes, I did just get this palette from Nomad. This is the, which one is this? The, oh, I don't know how to say this. Oh my gosh. Oh, the Paradise Islands eyeshadow palette. Now I have never tried Nomad Cosmetics. I am so excited for this. So let's dive in. I know what I want to do, but let's see how good I can execute this. So I'm going to start off with this shade. Let me zoom in. This is in the shade Minted. I really want like a bright blue. I know that he just came out with more blushes like for pride like rainbow blushes and i'm like oh my gosh i need those now so i'm gonna take this minted shade on the back of my hand Ooh, that is bright i did already set my lids wow with the mac paint pot and the shade laying low so i'm just gonna pack this on i have no idea i never really used the blush on the eyes so i have no idea how this is gonna work but I guess I'll lay it down and then blend it with my finger and kind of use it as a base. I am gonna make it, it's gonna be a little bit messy. This does look so crazy right now, but this is probably most likely gonna be one of those trust the process kind of looks. Wow. I'm gonna take this shade right here in the palette called Dolphin. Wow, now this is my first time using Nomad, y'all. So I am honestly, so excited for this. So I'm gonna stamp this on. Picks up really well. It is extremely pigmented. Now that base is definitely gonna help. It's definitely gonna help this product to lay down. I really wanted to use these bases because I knew it was gonna be like a pastel kind of um, shades. So I'm hoping this comes out right. I have no idea if it is, but we're gonna see. So now that I have that blended out, we gotta finish trusting the process. There's some really gorgeous shades in this palette. Like this blue called Shark is so pretty. Wow, that is beautiful. Let's take a little bit of this pink shade. This one's called Strawberry Cream. Take some on the back of my hand. I feel like these will be really good shades to kind of cut the crease. So I am gonna take this pink and I'm gonna kind of do that. Now that I kind of like cut the crease with that shade, I do wanna go into this blue, but I kind of feel like I need to use maybe a pink in this palette, I don't know. Now let's take this shade right here called Fish. This is like a lime green shade, very pigmented. It's a little bit chunky, but oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Wow. That is such a beautiful shade. And this is intense. Even just with a brush, this is a very 
intense shade. I'm gonna try to go in with my finger. <gasps> oh, the finger is even better. I feel like it's way more intense. This is so pretty. I feel like this is such a perfect palette for the summertime as well. And I'm also gonna go ahead and take that green over into that cut crease. That is so pretty, oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here called Sun. I'm just gonna take the same brush because I really want the colors to mesh well together. And I'm gonna take this shade, I'm gonna take it on my finger. And I'm gonna place that right in the center and just blend the green and the pink together. And then we're gonna go in to the blue shade, which is the shade Shark. This is so pretty. Love the shade. Oh, the shade is gorgeous. Ooh. I kinda don't know. I feel like the pink is getting lost. I'm just gonna go over that pink with the blue shade and I'm just gonna add more green to this. It's gonna make purple, which I guess is fine, but oh my gosh, this blue is so pretty. And I guess we'll add like a little bit of pink in the lower lash line maybe. I don't know, we will figure it out. But that is basically the eye look, kind of. It's kind of the eye look, not really what I wanted to go for, but we're gonna tie in pink in this look. I'm telling y'all, I want like, color i want it to look like color threw up on my face so i said i wanted to add pink to this look so i'm gonna go in with my tatiana nisa cosmetics cake liner this is in the shade bubble gum so i'm gonna use this to kind of like add pink into this look because your girl wants pink somewhere in this look because i was hoping to add pink but that's what we're gonna do if you guys are curious i do have this on my site link is always in the description so This is so pretty. I, I'm loving this look. I'm loving it. I think it's so cute. So now that the eyes are basically done, I did add some half lashes. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the face. So to start, I'm gonna go into my, my Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray just to add some hydration to my face. I don't have a new primer. So for primer today, I'm gonna go into this one. This is from Benefit. This is the Professional Light Primer. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the face. It is very hydrating and cooling, which I do love. You all have seen this all over the internet. I'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere. This is the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is the shade, what shade is this? Shade six. I'm just gonna go in to the face. I feel like this product is perfect for the summertime. It's affordable. I have seen some mixed comments regarding this being a dupe, which I get it. Um, Cause I know Charlotte Tilbury worked really hard on her flawless filter. Um, and I understand having another brand, you know, come out with a product that is really, really similar. On the other end, I also know some people cannot afford the $44 product. So it's a really tricky thing. I have been seeing that a lot lately, which I definitely do understand both sides for sure, but it's just so tricky. It's just so, so, so tricky. Also don't have a new foundation, but I've only used this foundation once, so I don't really know my full form thoughts on this. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. I have the shade Sandalwood. Is this a good shade for me still? I don't know, but I'm gonna use this today because why not? Honestly, using it right now kind of brings me back to my first impressions when I tried this out. It reminds me and smells, it like the smell reminds me of MAC. It smells just like the MAC foundation, but also this is so pretty. Ooh, and this is the perfect shade, okay. This is so pretty, oh my goodness. I feel like I would be, is this like a potential foundation that I'm gonna be wearing to the Kalani concert? Y'all, Kalani's concert is coming up soon. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. But like I have been, every time I do my makeup, I'm like, okay, is this gonna be a product that I'm gonna use for the concert? Cause I need something good. And this is looking pretty, pretty good. 
so for contour, bronzer-ish effect, I'm gonna go in with my Made by Mitchell blush. This is in the shade, shade and laid. It's really deep. I need a lighter shade that I can use kind of like all over, I guess, as like my bronzer, but this is more of a contour kind of shade, but I'm gonna go in this so I can snatch these cheeks. Love to apply it like this. I do need some more, but I like to apply it on the back of my hand because this product is very, very pigmented. It's very intense. So I would like apply it to the back and then stipple in on the face. But this is so pretty if you wanna snatch those cheeks. Look at that. Then I'll take what's left and kind of go on the forehead with it. Just like that. Look at how beautiful this is. I freaking love this product so much. Now that we are all bronze, I do have a new concealer that I have been dying to try and I finally picked it up. I finally got my hands on it. The Dior Flash Perfect Concealer. The shade I picked up is 6 and I have no idea if this is a good shade or not. It looks kind of deep, but we're going to test it out today. So this is what it looks like. This is like my second Dior makeup product. I am excited about it, but I do think this is a little bit too dark for like brightening up under the eyes. It does have like a brush tip kind of applicator. So we're gonna just apply this under the eyes. And yes, it is already, it's just way too dark. What was I thinking? Oh my goodness, I am not gonna put this all over the face. Aw, but it looks like it will be really, really hydrating. Ooh, yeah, y'all, we can't. <gasps> oh, this is so funny. Oh my gosh, this is way too dark. Wow. So I knew it was gonna be too dark, kind of when I like opened it up. Oh wow, I need to fix this. So I'm gonna go in with my one size in the shade dark one. We're gonna just use this because this is my lightest concealer and I love using it to brighten up. And this is literally what I thought the Dior one was gonna look like. <sighs> wow, that's crazy. But the one size concealer is definitely coming through. Blush, I did not, I don't have a new blush that I picked up recently. Are you guys surprised? Cause I definitely am surprised that I don't have a new blush. But I did search through my entire blush collection and I was like, what have I not used in a long time? And I haven't played with the Danessa Myricks Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette in a hot minute. This is, I don't know which one this is, but this is like the brighter palette. So I'm gonna go into, um, first I'm gonna take this one, which is the deepest one in this palette. And I'm also gonna go into the pinkish one, but we're gonna take that one first. And I'm just gonna tap this into the cheeks, but I'm gonna keep it higher up. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm just gonna keep it higher up on the face. And I'm gonna take some of the pink one which is this one right here, just a little bit. And I'm gonna place this on the apples of the cheek. So pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Ooh, so pretty, so cute. And I'm loving the pink with the blue eye. Okay, so I do have a new setting powder I wanna try out for the second time. If you haven't seen my review on this, this is new from Laura Mercier. This is the new setting powder. It's talc-free. There's skincare benefits in there. Um, but I wasn't really feeling it when I first tried this. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna give this a try for a second time. So that's what we're gonna do today. Tap the access on the back of my hand. And we're gonna press this into the skin. It has sparkle in this, like I can see it now. It just added a ton of sparkle on my face and it's supposed to blur, but I mean, let's, let's take a look, shall we? What do y'all think? This is the side that's set, this side is not set. What do y'all think of the setting powder? Like, using it a second time, I, I think it looks good with this concealer. I do think it looks good with this concealer, but I just don't understand why did they put glitter sparkle in this powder? I don't, I don't want sparkle on my face. I don't, I wanna keep it matte. If I wanted to add sparkle, I would add the sparkle myself. No, and I feel like this is a powder where a little bit goes a very long way. So you do not need a lot of this. You just need to set it and then you're done. But as much as I really want it to love this powder, I don't think that it is a powder for me. Um, I just don't think it's a powder for me. 
I'm just not feeling it like I wanted to. I think I would like this powder more if it didn't have like that shimmer in it because I feel like it kind of emphasizes a little bit of texture. So it looks good on camera from afar, but like up close, I can, I'm like, why is there glitter? or sparkle all on my okay. face. So taking my Jaclyn Cosmetics bronzer, I'm gonna go into the shade Daycation. I just wanna emphasize this snatched face a little bit more. So I am bronzing it up with this bronzer. These are new from Made by Mitchell. Like I said, I love his brand. So these are his new All Smudge No Budge Eyeliners. I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I'm telling y'all, you need to try them out. They're so freaking good. I think today, for today's look, we need something that's gonna pop. So I wanna use the Lime Green. I think it's really gonna bring out the green shimmer that's on the eyes. So I'm gonna go into this. Okay, yes, these are so good. I feel like they give you a lot of room to play with. So you can put it on and then smudge it out or you can just leave it and it'll stay put. Obsessed with that. And I'm gonna go back into the Nomad palette and we're gonna go into the blue shade in the palette and put that on the waterline. This palette, honestly, the pigment is so good. Yeah, that powder, uh-uh. I'm looking at my face up close and I can't. I can't do it. Oh, I really wanted to like it, but it just emphasized texture way too much. Oh, I am gonna go ahead and line my lips with the new lip liner from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Strong. I really love this lip liner. It's so good. Now for the lips, I have so many new lip products. It's crazy. I'm like, what do I wanna play with today? What do I wanna use? I get another shade in the new Fenty lip stain. I don't know if I wanna use this or this. This is new from Makeup by Mario. This is a new shade in the Plumping Lip Serum in the shade Pink Glow. And then I got new glosses from Pat McGrath. So it's like, dang, I can't use all of these lip products. So today I feel like what I'm really gravitating to is this Plumping Lip Serum from Makeup by Mario. I literally just got my package of this. And I wanna see how this shade is gonna look. So we're gonna go into this. Ooh. Looks kind of milky, like a milky pink. Oh, it's so pretty. Ooh, I like, I like it. Oh, that's so pretty. That's like a milky pink. I totally forgot how messy these can get. Ooh, I just love how glossy my lips look when I use this product. It's so pretty. Okay, so I did get these two products from Ofra when they sent me some PR, so I do wanna try them out. So this is the Ofra Banana Powder. So I wanna go into this and hopefully this will kinda help bring out that setting powder, like brighten under the eyes with this. Ooh, ooh, that definitely does brighten. Ooh, look at the difference of my under eyes. This is very bright and I like it. I like this a lot. This looks so good. Uh-oh, do I have a new favorite under eye brightening powder? That is so pretty. I'm just gonna add a little bit everywhere that I want to brighten. That looks good. I feel like that honestly helped my makeup look better. Like I feel like now everything looks really, really smooth. The other product is this highlighter from Ofra in the shade Milk and Cookies. This one with the deeper shade. And I'm just gonna place this all over. Let me take the film off of this. I forgot how good Ofra's highlighters are. Wow, they're so pretty. Ofra has really, really good highlighters. A lighter highlight shade, which I can definitely use as an inner corner highlighter Ooh, this is such a good duo because you have your inner corner highlight and then you have your face shade or vice versa so that's pretty that is really pretty last product i have to use today in today's video is the new mac setting spray so let me spritz my face so here is the finished look this was honestly like a roller coaster it was it was a journey, but I enjoyed playing with some new makeup, some older products that I haven't touched 
in a hot minute, which I'm really excited that I found a new love for these products off the Nomad palette. Like I said, this is my first time using a palette from Nomad and honestly, it is so freaking good. It blew me away. I feel like this is gorgeous. The pastels are amazing. I really like it. The shimmers are amazing. There is a lot of fallout with this formula, but it's pigmented, so I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if it's fallout city. The colors perform beautifully. They blend it exquisitely. I love my eye look. I love the shimmers. They're really gorgeous, and I'm really excited about this brand. Like I have never tried their palettes, but I definitely get the hype and I get why people love it. I don't know how I feel about the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. It's so good. I love it. I've been using it nonstop. I feel like it just gives that glow to the skin. It looks like a lit from within glow. The Made by Mitchell blushes, these are pastel shades, so they're not technically gonna be super, super punchy, but I really like these because they are a good base for pastels. I would use these two shades kind of mixed in with my brighter blushes just to get a lighter shade. I love to mix and match the blushes just for that special concoction. Also the liners have like the regular OG, like nude black liners, but these colored ones are good. They stay in the waterline. They're true to color. I really, really like them. So far I've only used these two and I really, really like these, but I'm excited to dive into these. The MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray, it's really good. I love it. I have used this nonstop. Okay, so it's really good. I would definitely check this out. The Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serum and Pink Glow, it's a really pretty, like milky pink kind of shade and it's really gorgeous. I really love this formula. I mean, smell different. The Dior Concealer, too dark, so I can't really say my thoughts on that because I have no idea how that product works. Because, you know, like, I don't know. I couldn't really tell because it was so dark and orange, so it was like, can't really give my thoughts on it, you know? Foundation, really pretty. I feel like the shade is perfect. It's like my perfect shade, so I love that. Um, the Ofra Highlighter Duo Milk and Cookies, really pretty. Ugh. Gorgeous. I love Ofra's highlighters. This is absolutely stunning. The banana powder, I really like to brighten up under the eyes. It really brought my face back to life. Vanessa Myrick's cheek palette, really beautiful, especially for travel. Uh, it is very dewy, so I do set this, but it's so pretty. I didn't set this today. I kind of just left it alone, and I think it's really pretty. I wouldn't set dewy blushes if I wore my hair up. If my hair was down, trust me, I would be setting this blush. But today, I think it's so pretty and I just didn't feel the need to set it. Laura Mercier setting powder, that I'm probably gonna return back to Sephora because I just, I really don't, I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. I can't, this is my second time using it and I can tell if a product is gonna work for me or if I like it. And after using it a second time, I think it's time to like, leave it alone. Um, but that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.